Hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to wait for my students to connect. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mr. Eric. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I am very glad little, to see you. A little scared. <laughs> a little what? A little oh. scared. Why? Because my mother and I, uh, we are, no, we watched the uh, uh, paranormal video. Oh my, <laughs> you were watching paranormal videos, come on. Yeah, and then we watched um, uh, witches. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Why are you watching those videos? Why? Mm, well, I like the oral. Oh my God. And, and, and she too. <laughs> Ya, yeah. imagínense si le pregunto, ¿qué es eso que se mira en su ventana ahorita? Nada, es la, la luz encendida. Ah, ¿Y por qué me saluda? Soy yo. Es <risa> like, ahí está con un roto. Es mi hand. No, pero en la ventana. <risa> ok. Es mi yard. Ah, ok, ok. I'm, I am being scared right now. Hello, yeah. hello everybody. Hello Brendita, hello Gustavo, welcome. Welcome to the class. Hello teacher, good evening. How was your day? Eric was watching horror things before entering the class. And my day is very busy because in the day I work in the, in the store of my company in Sporting America mm -hmm. and, and visit the store of Soya Pango, uh, Metro Centro, and La Gran Vía. Oh my God. Okay. And then when I I have my class of the night, I have an exposition with my partners. Oh and, my God. Uh, in, in two days, I have a uh, an exam at my university. Oh my goodness. It's all, it's, it's hey, all my, okay. And on Tuesday, you have an exam here? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have your final presentation on Thursday. It's going to be a little bit different today. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, but I hope everything is going to be fine. And I imagine how tired you are today. Hopefully you are going to go and rest in a couple of minutes. Don't worry. Thank you for sharing, Mr. Gustavo. Crisia, Brendita, how are you? How are you, teacher? Good evening. Good evening. I am very fine. I am very, very glad to be here. Teacher. Yes? Tengo una pregunta. Question me. Espérame, me voy a tener que, tengo que apagar la cámara, espérame. Dice que, dice que el, el día de ayer uh -huh. le mandé a un, a un, no sé si es compañero suyo, no sé. Pero uh -huh. le mandé mi, porque me dijo va, que no había trabajado nada en la plataforma, entonces necesitaba uh -huh. ver mis notas y chalala. Entonces le mandé la captura que había completado todo y me dijo que, dice, muchas gracias, en unos momentos le enviaré la información que realiza la inscripción, pero en esta ocasión ya no estará cancelando, solo que en este programa ya becado es necesario que se conecte a las clases. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Do you pay for the classes? Yep. So, in this case, maybe they are offering you the scholarship. Oh. But you, maybe you Ajá. can get, you can get uh, more information. Because in some cases, I think there are spaces for scholarships, but you need to keep, for example, a record of all the classes that you connect to all the classes and that you complete all the processes and the platform and everything exactly on time. So it's a little bit more strict, we can say. But if uh -huh. you, yeah, if you want, you can call, you can call them. 
and ask for a specific information so you can get you can get uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh, porque, porque me dijo que ya al final me dice que que me dará la beca completa pero que me mantenga conectado siempre me, que me conecte más seguido a las clases ok o sea, so, está, so, well, no, like, it's because, que me está dando, uh -huh. Uh, no, because that's, that's the parameter that you have to uh, you have to be committed. I mean, that's one of the requisites. That's one of the requisites. That's why he mentions that. And I know you connect to all the classes, right? But maybe they are specifying the requisite. That's, ah, okay. that's very good, Eric. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on your scholarship. Yay. That would be very nice. Excellent. So, but get uh, get informed. Maybe you can call uh, English Corporativo. You can call the telephone number that they have, and um, for you to have a specific information and for you to get all the details that you need to know. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. Great. Teacher. Great news. Great news. Hello, Mr. Eduardo Mercado. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Well. Yesterday we were talking about what? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Invitation. Invitations, right? We were working on invitations. Did you do the homework? Mm. Homework, what, 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 what you say? The little picture that I sent at the end of the class? Teníamos que hacer la teacher. Okay, I sent this image at the no, end of I the didn't. Class. Okay, no, I if didn't you, too. <laughs> if you didn't, if you didn't, we're going to do it right now. Here you okay. have the image that I sent you yesterday at the end of the class. And for this one, we have two different columns. In the first column that we have here, that it's this one, let me just make a little line, right? We have this one right here. You have the invitations and you have to write the responses. And on the other one here on the other side, you have only the responses, but you don't have the invitations. So what you need to do right now is to write the answers that you might uh, want if it is that you want to accept the invitation or if you want to decline it, right? So here you have the two options. You can accept the invitation or you can decline it to say like ah yes i would love to but and you give me an excuse that it's to decline or to accept yes i would yes i would love to or yes i would really like to go and for these ones you have the answers what you are going to do is to create the invitation you can create any type of invitation for the answer that you have right here okay so this is the exercise that we are going to do right now. Please get your notebook and you are going to write three responses and three invitations, right? Here you have the invitations, write the response. And in this one, here you have the response. I need you to create the invitation, okay? Let's do the first exercise first. First things first. Here, we're going to do this one right now. We're going to do only this part, right? We are going to choose only this one, right? We're going to choose only this part. Let's do only this one. And then we are going to create the invitations. These are the ones that we are going to make. I need you to write the answers for the three invitations. I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? That is the first one. The second one, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? And number three, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Okay. You can accept or decline. Let's write them down. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice? Me gusta más. Uh, what do you want to say? Eh, uh, eh, la primera pregunta dice eh, de esa del béisbol mm -hmm. y yo contesté yes I'd like to go but o sea que me gusta más el fútbol. 
I like soccer more. Ah, okay. okay. Or you say like, okay. yes, I would love to, but I prefer soccer. Okay. Good. I need all of you to write your answers for the three invitations. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Rosita. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hi. We are working on invitations. Right now, we are writing the responses for the three questions that we have here. Let me know when you have them ready. Okay, Eric, can you give me the first one that you have created? I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Yes, I'd like to go, but I like soccer more. I like soccer more. Thank you. Very good. Who has number two? Who has number two ready? Me, me teacher. Go ahead. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Yes, I would like to go, but are you at 6 p.m.? Ah, yes, I am able at 6 p.m. Oh, no, tomorrow, Wednesday. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I will cancel the class. <laughs> good, very good. Very good answer. And number three, who has number three? Me, teacher. Okay, Um, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yes, I like, I like to, but I have to work. Ah, it was going to be the Backstreet Boys. I am going to ask for permission. I am going to ask for permission. I am going to ask for permission. Good. Good. Very good. Excellent. The next one. The next one. Okay. Let's see, uh, we have the responses. I need you to create the invitations. Let me just mark it. Here we are going to do the second part. And in this one, you are going to invite me and I'm going to answer what you have there. If you have number four ready, let me know. Who has number four ready? Would you like to go to the party on Saturday? Yes, I would love to. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> ready for the cumbias. Number five. Who has number five? Number five. Invitation number five. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Would you like to go to play soccer? I would like to, but I have to study. Sorry. What about on the weekend? <laughs> we can do it on the weekend. That's very yeah. good. Yeah. It's like, no, no, ya no. Ya me digo no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, very good. Number six. Who has number uh, six? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Would you like to go shoe shopping on Friday? Yes. Thank you. I would really like to go and buy 
shoe shopping. Which girl says no to shoe shopping? <laughs> it's no a good invitation. One. It's a great invitation. Yes, it's a, it's a fantastic invitation. So, if I show you, if I show you this image, what invitation would you create from this one? Create an invitation. It's a hospital, right? Ah, uh -huh. it's the, yeah, it's a hospital. Invent, um, invent an invitation. <laughs> Would you like to visit my mother in an hospital? Would you like to visit my mother in the hospital? Yes, let's go. Let's go and see her. Ah, let's see this one here. Would you like to go to the shopping? Would you like to go shopping? Very good. What about this one? Would you like, Would you to, like to go to with dinner? Me? Would you like to come for dinner? Good, very good. What about this one? Would you like to rescue animals with me? <laughs> That's so cute. I would love to. I would love to. <laughs> you know, if I had a very big house, I will have, I, know, I don't know how many animals. What about this one? Would you like that I sing a song? <laughs> For me? Oh, yes. Well, in this case, it's not sing. Would you like me? to play a song in the piano. Ah, okay. Would you like me to play a song in the piano? Good, very good. What about this one? Would you, you like, like to play to the play guitar? Play some Serati. <laughs> Would you like to play <laughs> some Serati songs? Aha. What about this one? What invitation would you make here? Okay, here, here I go. Oh, it's, it's green, that's why. Let's, let's do it like this. Would you like to paint my house? <laughs> Would you like to paint my house? How much are you paying for that? <laughs> uh -huh. What invitation would you make? Would, would you like to ride to the bike? Bike. Uh -huh. Would you like to go? Biking, would you like to go biking? biking? Very good. Would you like to go swimming? Would you like to go swimming for sure? And the last one. Okay. Would you like to go to the karaoke? <laughs> would you like to go to the karaoke? Very good. I would love to. You know, I have a problem with the karaoke. <laughs> if I start singing, I never stop. And people get angry, right? But they say, otra, otra. And I say, yay, otra, otra. And then it's like, okay. And then and they say, like, yes, I love it. <laughs> because in the karaoke, it's like, y -y ¿quién quiere cantar? ¿Y ¿Quién quiere cantar? And then nadie canta. It's so like, ah, pues me echo otra, y otra, y otra. And I continue singing. Yeah, but one day, one day we won, we won a karaoke contest with another teacher friend, and we sang this uh, this song, Bohemian Rhapsody, with him, and it was a very cool thing. And we won a contest. Ganamos un concurso de karaoke. But they didn't know, they didn't know that he was an English teacher and I am an English teacher. So <laughs> it was an English song. It was like, for sure, right? Dijeron, que chiva le salió la canción en inglés. And I was like, yes. Was, mm. We love the song. Yeah, we, we are English teachers. I mean, come on, that's why. <laughs> it was good for us. It was easy. Yeah. And we won $100 each. <laughs> that was great. So here we have 
uh, three invitations. I need you to create invitations with the words that I have here. Would you like to? And then there you have all the options. So I need you to choose one person in the class and invite the person to do something, okay? If they call your name, you have to create the next invitation, okay? So for example, if I say, um, Rosa Amaya, would you like to go shopping with me on Saturday? Yes, I like. Okay, so if I invite Rosa, so Rosa has to invite the next person and the next and the next and the next and on and on and on, okay? Yeah. Do you know the meanings of all the words presented? Farewell. Farewell. Farewell, farewell is farewell. despedida. 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 Farewell. Uh, yes. Farewell. Farewell. Would you like to come to my farewell party, right? A mi fiesta de despedida. Any other one? Mm. Eric, would you like to play video games in my PS5? <gasps> oh again, my. again? Would you like to play video games in my PS5? Oh, yes, I would love it. <laughs> Yay! I would love it. Definitely. Now, Eric, give the next invitation. Um... Elmer. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know. <laughs> I choose one. Uh, would you like to play baseball on Saturday? Uh-huh, Mr. Elmer. Would you like to play, play baseball on Saturday? Yes, I like. Okay, now Elmer, choose the next person with the next invitation. Okay. Um, Brenda. Uh -huh. Give an invitation. Would you like to go shopping on Black Friday? <gasps> wow. Yes, I like. <laughs> I like. Yes, I would like to. Good. I, I think who, who doesn't? I mean, you are not going to say no to that invitation. Very good. Brenda, the next one. Claudia. Uh -huh. Claudia. Claudia. Would you like to come to the picnic with my family on Friday? Very good. Ah, yes, I like. Yes, I would like. Very good. Um, the next one. Marita, um, Crisia. Crisia, huh? Um, would you like to, to have dinner? Would you like to have dinner? Yes, I like. Yes, I like it. Very have good. With you. Ah, fantastic. Christian, the next invitation. Hey, Wendy, would you like to come to my farewell singer party? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh huh. I want to if she doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> So, no quiere ir, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> yeah, I can pay for no, I... <laughs> Hey, but I think, Wendy, what are you? No, I think she's not connected. Sí, Wendy. se fue. <laughs> yes, she, she left. Well, but I, I want to go <laughs> to your farewell. <laughs> but that is, I think it has, a, it has another name. I am going to investigate it. Because it's like, uh, ah, that's a bachelor's party, right? I think it's a bachelor's party. Let me look for it. So uh, I am going to look for it. Como se dice? Despedida soltera. Yeah, but to your farewell party, for sure we want to. Let's see. Here we have other invitations. For example, we have, would you like to go ice skating? Do you think that one is possible here in El Salvador? Never. No. 
It's not possible. Why? Because no. this country doesn't have ice. Because we don't have ice, no. right? No. So no. We don't have a snow, right? We don't have a snow. So that's why it's not really possible. Let's see. Another one that it's not really possible, it's go skiing, right? Go skiing. What's the skiing? Skiing is esquiar. Esquiar, but in snow. Mm, skiing. Yeah, it's not possible. Let me see another one. And for the rest, I think all of them are possible, right? Go to a movie, have lunch, make a sand castle, right? What is uh -huh. make a sand castle? Hacer castillos de arena. Oh, okay. Right? We can do it, right? If not, we're going to make a whole. Si no hacemos castillos, hacemos un hoyo. That's okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> to hang hang out this weekend. Hang out this weekend is when you go out. Just to do something. To go to eat something. To go and walk, right? To go and do things. Hang out. And you'll buy the estreno. Yeah, when you go to buy the estreno, they're in the shopping. So you can go and, and do things, right? Play volleyball. You can do it. Come to a picnic. Hey, have you ever gone to a picnic, people? Yes. When when I was uh, eighth grade. In eighth grade. So you went yeah. to a picnic. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Right. And to festivals, would you like to go to festivals? San Miguel. To San Miguel. Well, that's a carnival. The carnival. The carnival, right? The carnival. I like it. And it's school. very good. Where is Noel? <laughs> Where are you? For the carnival. Good. So, and let me see. Take a walk, right? Take a walk. It's a very nice date when you just go out and walk and talk right that's fantastic very good let me see and i think all the rest are already taken very good examples students very nice job the one that you did here so right now we're going to go to the next part of this and i am going to go here we're going to review a little bit about family members but first we're going to have a little reading I am going to ask uh, four volunteers. I will ask Rosita. I will ask, okay, Rosita is going to be the first three. I am going to ask Elmer for the next three. Eric for the last ones, okay? Here we have Rosa. Can you help me to read the first three events that we have about Christina Aguilera? Uh, Christina is a born on December um, 18 in New York. Good. Christina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Good. Christina is on TV in Disney New Make a House. Mickey Mouse, perdón. Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Timberlake, good, very good. The next one. Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Nakanishi, uh -huh. a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Very good, the next one. Uh, Christina sing a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Very good. Christina has her first big hit, Ginny in the Bar. Very good. And Eric. Uh, along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. Mulan Rouge. Ah, Mulan. Ah, sorry. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 it's okay, continue, continue. Christina performed uh, at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah, uh huh? Christina wins the best female pop vocal 
Grammy Award for Beautiful. Award, right? Award. Now, it was very good, but all of you skip a part of the reading. La lectura muy linda y todo, pero todos se brincaron las fechas. And you say, in 1980, Cristina is born on December 18 in New York. 1988, Cristina first appears on television in a star search at television talent show. What is the next date? In 1992. 1992. 1992. What is the next one? 1994. 1998. 1998. The next one? 1999. 1999. Uh -huh. The next one? 21. 2001. 2001. 2001. <laughs> okay. 2000. The next one. The next one is 2000. 2000. It can be. It can be 2001. Indeed, it can be 2001. But the most common form is 2001, 2001. right? 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. right? Si se ponen a pensar 2001, it was 20 years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> 2002, 2004, right? And 2004, it's not really common, right? It's not really 2004. common. 2004, right? And my question is, people, when were you born? When were you born, Eric? I born. I was uh, born. Ah, yeah. I, I was born on February 24 uh, on 2003. 2003. Rosa? Uh, when, when were you born? In which year? When were you born? In which year? For example, Mr. Eric was born in 2003. When were you born? Um, in 19... Uh, 1981. 1981. Very good. Brenda? I was born on September 9, uh, 1995. 1995. 95. Oh my God. Gustavo? He was born in 1999. 1999. Yes. I was born on November 15, 18, no, 1983. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> 1983, I said, my God, ya lleva más de one century here. <laughs> 1983, good. Claudia Sarabia. 1983. I was born um, 14, July uh -huh. 19, 1985. 1985. Good. Mr. Elmer? I was born in 1977. 1977. Mr. René? I was born in uh, 1987. 1987. Good. Yes. And Mr. Eduardo? Eduardo Mercado? I, I am born in... I 19, was born... I was born in 1994. 1994. Oh my God. Well, next question. <laughs> I am the Soy boy. el único de la generación de cristal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah. because I was born in 1984. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, well, but it's good. It's good. Yeah. Cuando ustedes decían, nací en el 2000 tanto, en el 2000 tanto, y hoy en el 2000 tanto, ¿qué andaba haciendo en el 2000 tanto? <laughs> good answers. Well, yes, you see, 1980 something, right? You divide the dates. 
Mr. René, it's good to have you here because we didn't have you in these last days. Yes. Welcome back. So, Thank you. So after these ones, remember why we had the different events in their lives. It says the first one, for sure, Christina was born. Then she appeared on TV. She appeared in the Mickey Mouse Club. Then she recorded her first song. Then uh, the next uh, activity that she had in her life was the, the first song for the movie Mulan, right? She sang a song for the movie Mulan. Then she sang Genie in a Bottle as her first hit. And she sang Lady Marmalade for the Mulan Rouge. And then she appeared in the Olympic Games and she got a Grammy, right? Exactly like the different things that we have done in our lives, right? I am only missing the Grammy. That's the only thing that I am missing. Solo el Grammy no me gana. So do you know how to call people uh, in your family in English? What are the different vocabulary that you know about family members? Uh -huh. Mother. Mother, good. What Father. else? Father. Sister, Sister. brother. Brother, Mother. sister. Uh -huh. Father. Good. Father. Cousin. Cousin. Niece, nephew. Out, uncle. Niece, nephew, aunt, uncle. Good. What else? Sister in law, mother in law. ¿Cómo se dice? Sobrina. How do you say? Niece. 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 No nice, okay? Niece. Niece. What else? What other family members do you know in English? Sister in law. Sister in law. Good. Brother in law. Brother in law. How to say suegra? Husband. <laughs> mother in law. Mother in law. Ah, mother. Ah, okay. Wife, husband. Wife, husband. Good. Very good. Son. Sibling. Daughter. Siblings. Daughter. Good. Very good. Uh -huh. uh, sister in law. Sister is in law. Good. Uh, nietos. Grandchildren. In general, grandson. in general, they are grandchildren. 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 Okay. Any other one that you know that you remember? Mm. Uh -huh. Any other one that you remember? El doc. El what? Doc. Es parte de la familia. Oh <laughs> yeah, the pet. <laughs> I say, I say el do, ¿cuál do? Dije, no sé, en el matrimonio solo hay uno, dije. El doctor. The doc. The other one. I was like, what? Did the other guys? No, we don't have a stepfather. A stepfather, it's padrastro. Stepmother. All the, oh yeah, all the step endings in this case. They are astro astra, right? Padrastro, madrastra, hermanastro, hermanastra. Good. So I am going to make a recap for the members of the family. I have here some examples of the men in the family, right? The men in the family. I have the great grandfather, that it's el bisabuelo, bisabuelo. right? Grandpa, that it's the nice form to call your grandfather, right? Or when you say pa or dad to your father, right? Father, daddy, no daddy Yankee, okay, daddy. Uh, <laughs> husband, husband, it's esposo. Uncle, <clears throat> tío. Be careful not to say ankle because the ankle is su tobillo, right? Uncle. He's my ankle. Uncle, uncle, okay? Uncle, father in law, and also some other boys in your family, the brother. Nephew, 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 right? Ah, nephew. nephew, that it's sobrino. And I have boy, baby boy, twin boys that are gemelos, cousin, 
brother-in-law, boyfriend, man and men, right? Man, men. That it's only one, hombre, hombres, right? The next one. Here we have the women in the family, right? Oh, sorry, the women in the family. The great grandmother, great the mother, mother. Mom, mom, mommy, mommy. cousin, cousin, mm. niece, daughter, aunt, um. right? The aunt. Great grandmother, it's like bisabuela, right? Mother, mom, mommy, Ooh, I moved them. cousin, niece, daughter, aunt. This is not nice, okay? It's niece, niece. And in here, we have the girl twins, the girl, sister, girlfriend, wife, a teen, teenager. Teen is for both, for boy and girl, right? Woman, women. Woman, it's only one. And women is plural, okay? Let's just recap a little bit here. Here we go. And I need you please to repeat with me. Great grandfather. Great-grandfather. Great-grandfather. Grandfather. 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 Father. Father. Daddy. Daddy. Husband. Husband. Uncle. 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 Father-in-law. Father-in-law. Brother. 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 Nephew. Nephew. Boy. Boy. boy, baby boy, baby, baby boy. boy, twin boys, twin, twin boys. boys, cousin, 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 brother in law, brother in law, boyfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend. Men. men, men. Okay, in this case is men, 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 men. Right, man, 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 man. The next one, we go with the ladies. Great grandmother. Great grandmother. Mother. 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 Mom. 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 Cousin. Cousin. Niece. 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 Daughter. Daughter. Aunt. Aunt. Twins. Girl twins. Girl, girl twins. twins. Sister. 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 Girlfriend. 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 Wife. 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 Teen. 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 Woman. 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 Women. 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 Okay, and here I have a little list of uh, the family members that you mentioned, right? Can you please give a quick look to them? And if you have any question about any of the parts of the vocabulary, let me know. What are some of the parts of the vocabulary that you don't know? Fianza. Fianza. Uh -huh. Aha. Fiancé and fiancé. 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 Double E, right? Fiancé. And fiancé. ¿Y la anterior? Con una E. Fiancé, it's prometido. Ah. Ah, your fiancé and your fiancé. Okay. <laughs> Good okay. father. Aha, godfather. Godfather. Ah. Godfather is padrino. Ah. El padrino, like the movie. <laughs> ah, yeah, godfather. Bonacera, and with a cat here. Uh -huh. I need a cat. <laughs> Godmother, madrina, right? Godson, ahijado, and goddaughter, ahijada. Uh -huh. Any other question? Teacher, uh -huh. I have a question. Yes? En la otra parte estaba Twin Boys. Uh -huh. Y para gemelas era girls twins. Uh -huh. No sé si hay un orden ahí o puede ser. It's, it's the same, right? And very good observation, right? Girl twins and it can be twin boys, right? The thing is the pronunciation sound that you cannot say boys twins because it doesn't sound correctly. So that's why 
they inverse the word, right? It's like twin boys for it to sound correctly and girl twins because the other one will be like twin girls. It will be kind of strange. So, but the meaning is the same. And in most of the cases, they only call them twins. They don't say girl twins or boy twins. So they only say twins. Okay, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda, for the question. Uh -huh. Any other question? No? All clear like water. All clear like water. Good. So in the case of partner, partner, this one that we have here, it is when you have only your pareja, right? That you are not married, but you live together, right? In couple? In, uh -huh, it's pareja same. too. Yes, it's the same, right? You can also use it, right? Couple, partner. You say like, he's my couple, he's my partner, right? You can use it. And the next ones that we were mentioning, stepfather, stepmother, stepsister, is a padrastro, madrastra, hermanastra, right? And for the rest, they are very clear. Now, the question is, in this case, and this is for everybody, the question is for everybody, how is your close family made of? For example, if I am talking about my family, my close family is made of my husband, my kid, my dog, and me. That's my family. How is your close family made of? What are the members of your close family? Okay, because your close family is the people who live in your house. Your complete family, ooh, maybe here in El Salvador, we have like 100 members. <laughs> right? Hay familia de hasta cien, ciento y no sé cuántos <laughs> members. So, uh, let me see. We're going to go with Eric. Then we have Rosa. Then we're going to have Crisia. And then we're going to have René. Then we're going to have Claudia, Elmer, and Gustavo. Explain how your close family is made up. Okay. Okay, my my close family made up uh, are uh, my mother, my father, my nephew, my sister, my two cats, and me. Good, very good. So you say my close family is made of. Made of is composed by. So you say my mother, my father, my sister, and me, and that's it. Rosita, go ahead. My close family. My close family is made of. Is made of my father, mm -hmm. my sister, my my mother, mm -hmm. my uncle, my husband. Uh -huh. uh, Okay, so that is the people that live in your house, right? We have a kind of a big family. That's very good. Mr. René, go ahead. Okay, my close family is just me because I live alone. <laughs> it's just me. Me and myself. Me and myself and myself. Okay. Yeah, yes. yo, he visto, yo, yo he visto que pasa una señora ahí por su casa. <laughs> it's like... Yes, but my parents um, was busy in the, the last week. <laughs> I said like, okay, <laughs> if you live alone. Okay. <laughs> and Eric was telling me about the horror things at the beginning of the class. Okay. que estábamos en clase y acaba de escuchar que las que hacían atrás de mí así. La conciencia, la conciencia. Ah, <laughs> apague, apague la cámara y rapidito, Alicia. Ah, sí, <laughs> nerd. Sí, dicen que cuando uno anda en el pecado. <laughs> ah, sí, nerd. <laughs> what is your close family made of? My close family is made of uh, my, my son, my daughter, my brother, 
my mother and the dog. <laughs> And that's it, right? That's your close family. Good, very good. Thank you. Claudita. Um, my close family is made of my mother, my brother, my son, my dog, my cat, and me. <laughs> my dog, my cat, and me. They are part of your family. <laughs> Definitely. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Claudita. Brenda, what is your close family made of? My close family is made of my husband and I, because okay. I just got married last December. Ah, it's so cute. Very nice. <laughs> so nice. Mr. Elmer, what is your close family made of? My close family made of are my wife, my son, my daughter, and my sister now. Oh, that's very good. Excellent. And Mr. Gustavo? My close family made of uh, my mother, two nephews, my siblings, mm -hmm. two brothers and two sisters, and three dogs, one loro. <laughs> one parrot. One oh my God. And the parrot and the cat are friends. Yes. Uh, uh, mm. the, the, the parrot. No, the parrot. The carrot. The carrot, <laughs> the carrot is zanoria. Pa <laughs> parrot. Parrot. <laughs> or parakeet. It's easier, right? Parakeet. How do you say odiar? Hates. My parrot hates my cat oh. because he. Um, how do you say murder? He bites. He bites oh. uh, the cat. Oh my God. <laughs> well, yes. Well, so right now, um, well, I don't know if you're using your phone. If you're using your phone, I need you to get one picture around you. Okay. Si están usando el teléfono, busquen alguna foto que tengan ahí cerca. Y si no lo están usando, pues en el teléfono. So look for a picture. Look for a picture of uh, a family member. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Si... No están usando el teléfono, then eh, look for a picture there. Si están usando el teléfono, busquen una de las que esté ahí en su casa. Y si no lo están usando, busquen una foto. Ok, do you have it? Yes, no? Ok, Ay, very good. What a beautiful picture. Keep it there because you're going to use it. Ok, I have one. I have one. One picture right here. Ok. And I will say, he, okay, listen to the example. Listen to the example because you are going to do the same. Okay? Let me look for another one that it's clearer. Okay, okay, okay. I have it right here. Okay, I have it right here. He is Alex and he is my son. Right? This is Nati's here. This is Nati's kid. And I have here three examples. I am going to show them to you and how you are going to give me the sentence. Here you have it. Chan, chan, chan. Do you have your picture ready? Here you have four options of sentences. And in this one, I have one about my mother. She is Carmen. She is my mother. That's one example. My mother's name is Carmen. Second example. Carmen is Nati's mother. Three examples. And Nati is Carmen's daughter, for example. Cualquiera de esas cuatro formas pueden ocupar para darme su oración. And I can say, he is Alex, he is Nati's son. Okay, there you go. There you go, he's my kid. Ta-da! Malia, como su madre. Now, I need you to show me your picture and give me one sentence exactly like what I did. Let's start with chun, chun, chun. Let me see. Brenda, you had the picture ready. Brenda ya tenía la foto lista. La cambié. Bueno, <laughs> estaba buscando como dijo que varios pensé que varios miembros de la familia vamos a mencionar. No, right now, right now only one. Maybe tomorrow oh, yeah. we're going to use more. Uh-huh. 
Bueno, hoy tengo una de mi mami conmigo. Oh. She's Roxana. She's my mother. Oh, how nice. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Claudita, do you have your picture? Yes. Put it on the camera. Ajá. Hey, creo que se nos bloqueó el teléfono. Oh. Desbloqueémoslo. Un poco morena. Ay, there we go. <laughs> Put it on the camera. Ah, what a beautiful picture. Um, she's my... She's... Um, what Anna? is her name? She's Anna, uh huh? Anna. She's my grandmother. Oh, so cute. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Very good. Rosa, do you have your picture? Rosa, she's my son. My daughter. Your daughter. Es tu hija. Yes. Okay, she's my daughter, you say. She's my daughter. She's very beautiful. Wow, exactly like you. <laughs> ah, you. what a beautiful picture. Thank you. Mr. René, do you have your picture? The microphone. Put it on the camera. There you go. Who's she? She's my daughter. Ah, she's so cute. What is her name? Her name is Rebecca. Ah, what a beautiful picture. Ah, Thank you. what a nice thing. Mr. Eric, do you have your picture? Yeah, teacher. Let me a moment. And uh, she is my sister. Mm -hmm. Her name is uh -huh. She is my niece. He His is... name is Roberto. Uh -huh. Yeah, and she is my mother. My mother name is Evelyn. Evelyn, and what a beautiful I... name. That's a fantastic yeah. thing. Oh, what a beautiful picture. Mr. Elmer, do you have your picture? Yes, I have. This is my family. Oh, beautiful. Uh -huh. um, she is Areli, my wife. Uh, She's uh, Valentina, my daughter. And she is Rodrigo, my son. What a beautiful picture. Oh my God, what a nice thing. And Crisia, do you have your picture? Thank you, Elmer. Pasta. There you go. Who's she? The microphone, Crisia. Okay. They are my, they are my my children. Oh my she God. is Kelly and she, and he is Adriano. Oh, Kelly and Adriano. They are yes. your kids. Well, yes. little kids, they are not that little, but they look amazing. Very beautiful picture, Crisia. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, Mr. Gustavo. I don't have camera teacher, but I need to present my pantalla. <laughs> no, you're okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. But you can share it. Let I me can. let me give you permission right now. Okay, there you go. Okay. And she is my niece. Oh, what she a beautiful is, thing. She is Monica. Oh. She's very beautiful. Look at her. Oh, what a beautiful picture, Gustavo. And this is Gustavo. <laughs> because we, <laughs> he doesn't have a camera right now, but we can see him. Thank you, Gustavo. Very good. Ah, what a beautiful picture. Thank you very much for showing me your family. Tomorrow, we're going to continue working a little bit more on this topic. So 
I am going to leave you here the sentences because tomorrow we are going to be creating sentences about family members, okay? Keep the examples for tomorrow because we're going to use them in class. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. Rest a lot. And I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Have a beautiful night. Rest. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, bye -bye, teacher. Good, Good night. night. Take care. Eric, I <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Take care.